1998, the Keshet Yehuda Pre-Army Preparatory Academy was established as a pioneer institution amongst Israel's pre-army preparation academies. Graduates of religious high schools come to the academy before they begin their army service. These young people choose an intensive year-long program before their service. Through value clarification studies and deepening their appreciation of Jewish tradition, they build up their spiritual foundations and shape their characters. They understand that the only way for them to a meaningful army service is through the Keshet Yehuda Academy. I chose Keshet Yehuda because I think, first it's a beautiful place, it's in uh, Golan Heights, and you have all the space you need to fulfill yourself and uh, work on your deals, like the army and learning Torah. If I want to start my life as a religious person, I want to do something before then and not just go into life and then we'll see what happens. The course of study in the academy is intense and students often study from the early hours of the morning until late at night. A variety of classes are available covering diverse subjects, faith, Jewish thought, Gemara, Tanakh and Halakha. Connection here with the rabbis um, is very open, like um, I meaning that um, they talk to you like a, a friend and not like a teacher to, to a student. They actually make you feel like an adult. You make your own choices and decisions. In addition to their studies, the students' program includes physical activity to prepare them for more meaningful military service. The students participate in physical fitness and training exercises, along with topography studies and navigation. All this helps prepare the academy students for service in elite army units and to become officers and to achieve key positions in the military. There is a special program in Keshet Yehuda for overseas students that is incorporated into the Israeli program. This program aids in absorbing new olim. The connection that the overseas students forge with the Israelis makes for a unique experience. From going to Keshet, I think I've made uh, a lot of friends with Israelis. I think my Hebrew has improved. I think religiously I've grown. I think my love for Israel has just grown even more. You're free to develop in your own way and really be, become an individual, really know who you are, really discover what you can do. I came here not knowing a word of Hebrew and right now I'm able to speak, I'm able to have conversations, I'm able to read, I'm able to watch Israeli TV shows. The secret is very simple. We take the best Israeli guys who are dedicated to their nation, dedicated to their way of life, to Torah as well, and we take our guys and we mix them together. Most of the work is done by the Israeli guys. Everybody's, you know, together on, on Shabbat. You see everyone singing together. You see everyone just eating together. The, the relationships that I, that, I get, that I make with these kids, I think will help me when I go into the army. Even though my parents are in England, I still feel like I'm at home here. I feel like the friends I've made here are family and they'll invite me to, to a Shabbat whenever, whenever I feel like I'm going there and I really feel like I'm at home. Due to the educational philosophy of Keshet Yehuda in training its students to be leaders, the students carry out many volunteer projects. The most outstanding project is the volunteer project with Holocaust survivors. Many survivors deal with a variety of health and economic problems, but their greatest problem is loneliness. The students visit the survivors regularly in their homes and help them by providing a listening ear. This volunteer project contributes no less to the students than it does to the survivors. על משמר העם והמולדת ברוחה של תורת ישראל. המכינה הקדם צבאית ברמת הגולן במושב קשת, קשת יהודה, אחת הבולטות והמצטיינות בהכשרת קאדר של לוחמים, מפקדים, קצינים וחיילים מן השורה, אשר משלבים ספרה וסייפה ביחד לתפארת העם ומדינת ישראל. The Academy runs a life preparation program for graduates of the Academy who have concluded their military service. Before they go out into the world, the Academy makes it possible for its graduates to return for an additional period to recharge their batteries so that they can intensify their Torah learning and clarify and shape their path in life for themselves. I was a soldier for three years and then I finished my service. You think, what's next? What do I want from life and where am I headed? But first of all, I want to come home to go back where I came from, 
where I received my approach to life, the rabbis and the special way of teaching. We have a lot of experience, quite a number of years. When a fellow comes here after the army, even for a short while, or even a month, which is really nothing, it's not like a month before the army. It is far more meaningful. Keshet Yehuda changed my life from A to Z. I came from a home that was not completely religious, and now that I have a home, a wife and a child, the way I live, it's all from here. Nothing would have happened without it. I don't know where I would be. I don't know if I would have gone to the army. Maybe I would have gone abroad. All the good that I succeeded in doing in the army, all that I succeeded in doing in life, all of it comes from here. After 18 years of activity, the academy has more than 1,000 graduates who serve in senior positions in the army and Israel's civilian organizations. I arrived at the Keshet Pre-Military Academy with the understanding that after the preparatory program, I would succeed in reaching a combat unit and perform a significant role. Very quickly, I learned that the true story is refining one's strength of will, clarifying my faith and forming the Israeli and Jewish identity that I want to develop for myself in the army and afterwards. I also understand that this would give me the ability in the end to carry out a meaningful combat service. I get a telephone from the director of overseas personnel telling me congratulations you got posted to Hanoi. Of course there's nothing Jewish in Hanoi. There are quite a few examples of issues we had to deal with on the religious side when we were in Hanoi. Uh, one of them was a bar mitzvah. We held there an Israeli family who were traveling the Far East. At that weekend, there was a visit of uh, a minister who came with a group of, uh, of business people. So we had a minyan and we managed to arrange a very, very special bar mitzvah there. I, as a F-16 navigator, in charge and actually decide what target gets a ton uh, of explosive and uh, what target blows up and what target doesn't, and which house falls and which house doesn't, uh, and actually who dies and who doesn't. And these uh, decisions have to be taken in uh, split seconds, in the uh, middle of action, in the mid-air. Values I have absorbed in Keshet help me make the most uh, moral and right decision in the air and secure the state of Israel. The time I spent in Keshet Yehuda, basically I got a set of tools, I got the knowledge of how to use them. Today, I am a commanding officer and educator of 2,000 combat soldiers that are defending the country. And I feel that everything I absorbed and learned in Keshet Yehuda Academy in the Golan Heights, I transmit to them so that they can continue to lead and pass this on to the next generation. את הבוגרים של המכינה היום בכל, בכל היחידות הלוחמות, בסיירות, בשייטות, בטייסות ובפיקוד. ולא פחות חשוב, בפיקוד ממשיכים ועושים, כל יום עושים לטובת מדינת ישראל. Those guys actually the, the potential young leadership of uh, Israel. So supporting them in any way it's not only uh, doing something uh, uh, good for those kids, which, which give them the, the equal opportunity. It's also supporting and donating to the uh, nation in Israel, and more than that, to the Jewish people. I support שיקבעו זמן לתורה גם בזמן שירותם הצבאי. ובזה יהיה מחננו קדוש וטהור, ולא יראה בך ערוות דבר, ואז השכינה תהיה שרויה על ישראל, גם בביתם, גם במחנותיהם, גם בכל מקום. ונזכה במהרה בימינו לקבל פני משיח צדקנו, בישועה וברחמים גדולים. Amen ואמן.